All right, listen up. I'm only going to say this once. At 14.00, the Reds attacked the unforgotten bait deep in the demilitarized zone. That fort had a general named Green Scar. Him and his men sacrificed themselves, holding off against the Red Horde who have now declared war on us. They held them off long enough to allow us to take the preparations of war. As we speak, Green Infantry Divisions and Armies swarming to get here but until they do it's us and the green marginal line we are all that stands between the marginal line and the reds just us 300 men and 16 tanks and seven of those tanks are not working we might be outnumbered 100,000 to one but just like the fort of the unforgotten, so too will ought we make our final stand. What I am asking you might seem impossible. Remember our saying, no mission too hard, no sacrifice too great, duty always first. I am Green Hammer, I am the fourth highest ranked official in the Green Army, President Vice President, Commander of War, and a high rank commander. That is me. Gentlemen, it has been an honor to meet you all. To me, you are not soldiers, but you are brothers fighting for freedom. We take up positions and we show these red dogs who's boss. Oh, what's this? <laughs> well, that can explain a lot of why the Reds are so aggressive. They're working with the Greys. If we push forward, push those Greys through their portals, they won't be able to swarm us. Arm yourselves, my brothers. We are the Green Highlanders, and we show no mercy to those Gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Army Men of Warfare Season 7. Welcome back to Call to Arms. Oh, I'm a modding master. I've created the second only Army Men mod for Call to Arms. Now, of course, before we begin, if you just want to see the battle, you're not really interested in the whole kablooey and where we are and everything, there you go. So, here we are on, I guess you can say, the more green side of the demilitarized zone. This is the last green base in the demilitarized zone besides green territory itself. Um, as you saw from the intro, uh, Green Hammer, this man right over here, he is the, I guess you can say, um, the official or the commander of this um, base. And as you can see, this base looks absolutely gorgeous. Yes, I'm super excited to get this battle started. Um, I don't know if there's an army man call to arms on uh, the workshop, but if if there isn't, um, I might upload this. Though this isn't technically my mod. This is a mix of the army man all out war uh, that was a part of the Rob's realism. And technically speaking, uh, the Army Men version 3, or what I used to call 3D. But I have somehow, through much, much effort and time, got an Army Men mod onto Call of Arms. Now, unlike the other series that were on the original world, I've decided that it's I'm going to use these factories and these barracks as the same thing with the enemy portals. The greys will be swimming out of these portals like absolute craziness. So the greens gotta push in, they gotta take over, and they gotta use the resources they can to uh, win. Now unlike 
unlike in uh, the human dimension where you can get plastic from things, there's no plastic bottles or, or balls or cars or, or RC cars or whatever. They, they don't exist in this world. This is the original world. So the only way that you can get plastic is basically from other nations. You win a battle, not only do you get to claim the plastic that you lost back, you also get to claim the plastic that you get from the battle. And this is just going to be something that I'm starting now. I'm super excited to get this started. I feel like this is going to be a brand new twist. Um, I'd like to see, um, maybe I can put in that uh, bulldozer and then we can get the bulldozer to create more factories so then, you know, the enemy can start building up bases and stuff and watchtowers and so can we. I'm hoping that I can start hopping on to that, that uh, the new uh, Call to Arms uh, DLC, which is that, uh, what's it called, Gates of Hell or something? I'm super pumped to get that going. I want to see that. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, we should get this battle started. If you enjoy these battles, please do leave a like. It helps the channel grow, and not only that, it shows that you guys really do like these. Um, last thing, I think we got 18 likes. Do you think we could do 20? Do you think we could do 20 likes? That would be pretty awesome. And of course, if you ever want to subscribe, you can. Now then, let's go. Here we go. And the battle is on. Lagging a little bit there. Fire! No? You're not gonna fire? There we go. Those are the Pershing's 90 millimeter guns. Uh, it looks like we have a couple uh, Panzer fours or threes. What do you think that is? I think they're. I think they're Panzer. Fours. They're charging in here, but that is the gray main battle tank. Kind of the only tank they have right now that we know of. We're on the green side, the one version is decided to over here. Oh, buddy. Oh, no. He can let his side out. Losing a Pershing right at the beginning is not good for the greens. Those tanks are kind of the only tanky tanks. Losing one out of the, the twos. Not very good. But here comes the greens. That song. Wow. Here we go. That bazooka, but one of them did hit their mark and didn't knock it out. Oh, okay, now knocked it out. There you go. It was one of those guys that immediately went down afterwards. Damn. Grays are now coming in, swarming here. Getting into buildings, going up stuff. That's the one thing I like about Call to Arms. There's elevation that units can use. Units can go into buildings and use any height that they feel like. Look at this. That is the one thing that I love Call to Arms to be. They are going to use um, elevation to try uh, for their advantage. Uh, to their advantage. Continuing on with the battle here. Woo! God, I love those Pacifica guys. I didn't color their guns, so I kind of forgot that, but oh well, it's okay. Woo! That one person is kind of just taking the, the, the brunt of uh, the battle. The battle rages on here. The Greys are really trying to hold off here. They're not doing a very good job. They do have, yes, more, looks like more tanks coming out of the portals. So too with men. Uh, I think the portals lost their smoke effect, but I cannot fix that at this time right now. Oh my god. Tell me that's not beautiful. 
Tell me that's not beautiful. Yeah, I want the sun as well. Wipe out 
Oh my goodness. Yep, look. The photo just despawned it right in front of my eyes. All there's left is this one. All there's left is this one, and it's not gonna be long because the tanks are destroying. Oh my god. Oh jeez. Yep, and there goes the portal. The greys are now completely stranded. Oh my goodness. I don't think they were prepared for this. The greys are just straight up running. And I don't blame them being they're being chased by tons and tons of tanks and men. Oh. No, wait guys, they're surrendering! No, guys, no, they're surrendering! Sur they surrender! They're surrendering! Look, they dropped their guns! Tank, come on, don't don't shoot him. Don't do it. Alright, and my game crashed. <laughs> Uh, I think we know the clear victor there. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed that battle. That was pretty crazy. Um, I'm going to be getting more battles going, so do not worry. Um, hopefully we won't crash more. Uh, this mod is still in um, early stages of me editing it, but oh well. Anyway, till next time. See you later. By the way... What should they do with the four gray soldiers that surrendered?